Okay guys, if you have a Honda Civic Hybrid and you have the IMA light with the check engine light, that most likely means that your Honda Civic Hybrid battery is bad. You have a few options. Um, you can either replace it, refurbish it, take it apart and uh, refurbish it that way. You can try a grid charger. You can try to charge it manually. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, a lot of times also software update from the dealership can fix it. You can also go to the dealership and see if they'll warranty it out. Um, there's obviously a lot of things to do. The first thing you want to do though is if you do get this IMA check engine light, um, run the codes on it. I ran the codes on this one. It is a P0A7F, which is hybrid battery pack deterioration. So that tells me that it is the hybrid battery pack itself. Um, what we do from there, if you do have a nice scanner like a Snap-on or a um, Altel scanner, you can plug it in and you can see if the DC converter is working. Um, you can see exactly how it's charging and all that stuff. If you don't have that, you're gonna wanna drive it a lot and see how this battery gauge is, this gauge right there. Um, if it's recalibrating a lot, if it is at full and then goes down to um, blocks and then after a while it just goes back up to full, then that is a recalibration and that most likely means that your battery is bad if that happens often. I'm talking probably once every five to ten minutes. So I will show you exactly the things you can do and what works best and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset this just to see if it'll come back on. That's the first thing you want to do too. If you can't, if you don't have a scanner, unhook the engine battery. Hook it back on and turn on the vehicle. I'll turn it on now. Obviously no check engine light. And we're gonna drive it and see if it comes back on. So it's already recalibrated twice and it's been like two miles. So that is definitely cause for concern, but we will keep on driving it and see how long it takes for the check engine light to come on. Turn left onto South 300 East, North 7800 West Street. Oh, and there we go. There is the IMA light. Happened pretty quickly. I'd say five miles. Okay, now that we know our hybrid battery is bad, I'm going to show you your options and how much each one is going to cost and about the warranty that you're going to have and the pros and cons of each of them. The easiest and cheapest way to do it is to get a hybrid battery from the junkyard. Um, it'll cost you about $300 if you give them your core. The only bad thing is you don't know how long that vehicle has been sitting in the junkyard. The battery could be bad. It's kind of hard to tell what you're getting, but if you have a very bad battery and the car that you're getting the battery out of is wrecked, it's probably going to be in okay condition. The next thing you can do is go to car-part.com. I will link that in the description and you can get one shipped to you or you can see if there's one locally. Um, this is kind of like a junkyard except for you will have a better warranty on it. So that is the only pro. Um, the con is it will cost a lot more. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can go to ebay.com and you can get one on there. Um, the good part about this is you can get some really good deals. You can get a hybrid battery for less than $500. Um, sometimes you can get a remanufactured one with a really good warranty for $1,500 or even less. The only bad thing is if you're getting a used one, you have no idea how long it's been sitting on a shelf and degrading. So that is something you want to ask the, the seller before you buy. Another option is to buy a refurbished battery. I like to use Bumblebee batteries. I'll link the um, website in the description as well. They have a pretty good deal where you can get a refurbished battery for about $1,700 with a one-year warranty. 
Um, if you want to add an extra year of warranty, it's another $100. And I believe if you want to add an additional year of warranty, it's another $100. So they are a good company and they do build pretty good batteries. Now, if you want to try to refurbish your battery yourself, you can buy a Prolong battery charger. And this charger hooks up to the hybrid battery. It costs about $470. And from there, you can grid charge it um, once a month, once every six months, just kind of depending on how bad the battery is. And you can see if that'll fix the battery. I have had great luck doing that, and I have fixed a couple cars with bad batteries so I would say if your if your battery isn't terrible I would try that first another thing you can do is build your own grid charger this will save you a lot of money but if you don't know what you're doing it can be very difficult to do however it is a great way to save money and to kind of figure out how these batteries work another thing you can do is you can buy a brand new battery pack from Honda now I just called and the price for it is $2,571 and that doesn't include tax. And then you'll also have to install it yourself or pay them an additional amount to install it. Um, I know that their battery packs don't have that great of warranty but they are new so that could be something you want to do if you plan on keeping your vehicle for a long time. Another thing you can do is take apart your hybrid battery and discharge and recharge each battery cell to figure out which ones need to be replaced or which ones need to be worked on and possibly refurbished. This is by far the most difficult thing to do and most time consuming thing, but it can be very inexpensive and it can help you rebuild your hybrid battery pack. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm working on some more videos. Um, Especially that last part, I'm going to work on showing you how to refurbish your battery sticks. To take apart the whole hybrid battery and to refurbish each individual stick. Um, if you guys have any questions though, please let me know. And hopefully I'll be able to post some more videos on this soon.